Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good morning. Sorry. Good afternoon. It's been a long day. Um, today is Monday, and I am Tiffany with the Speak Up and Inspire series. Um, I want to start off by saying thank you to Miss Allie Virtuous, who interviewed me on Saturday on making connections with Allie and Shay. Um, I appreciate being able to go on the show for the second time to talk about my new clothing line, um, Vibes Over Everything. Um, Vibes Over Everything is a um, clothing line that we, um, because we wanted to continue spreading positive affirmations, um, positive body image, positive self image, um, to continue the work that I'm already doing in the community. Hello, Trent. Hi, Dan. How are you? Hi, Keisha. Thank you for joining us. Um, so I wanted to say thank you to Miss Allie. Um, Miss Allie is a podcast and radio host. Um, she is also an advocate in our community. She's very supportive of all of us as advocates in the community. Um, and so I'm very thankful to have her as a partner in the community, um, just spreading good vibes, good cheer, and um, supporting people in our community who are doing great things. So I wanted to um, do a shout out to Miss Allie for that um, and say thank you, girl, for having me on your show um, to talk about vibes over everything, but to also just talk about um, uh, the community, what's going on in the community, um, supporting me, supporting the advocates that are out there, um, trying to make a change, and for being a platform for so many of us who um, have our own businesses and are just trying to help others um, through our work and through our experience and by speaking up with our voices. So thank you, Ali, um, for having me on the show on Saturday once again. If you get a chance, go to her Facebook page, Making Connections with Ali and Shay. You can see um, or listen to the interview with myself, but also you can follow her to see some more inspirational um, and motivating people in the community who um, she has had the pleasure of interviewing. This month in the Speak Up and Inspire series, we are talking to moms, moms especially that are also business owners and entrepreneurs, as well as being successful at what they do. Um, the last or the first week of the month, we talked to Frances Watkins of Right Touch Promotions, and she is also my mother-in-law. Um, I saw that you guys were enjoying the interview with her, um, talking about raising three adult successful kids, um, and just sharing some enlightenment about raising three kids and being a single mom, um, and then also being an advocate in her community among the gospel industry, um, helping a gospel artists um, make a name for themselves, um, and also making her name for herself. She's very well known in the gospel community. Um, she's from Raleigh, North Carolina. So it was a pleasure for her to be the first guest. Um, I'm always honored and always happy to be in her presence. Um, not just because she's my mother-in-law, because, but because she's very inspirational, very motivational. Um, and she supports what I do just as much as I support um, what she is doing in the community. Um, also, she holds no bars at all. She's very upfront. She's very blunt, but she does it with love as any mom does. So thank you to Ms. Francis for being on our first um, mom show this month. Um, unfortunately, we did not air last week because I was not feeling well. So today we are going to be talking to Miss Lakeisha Steele. Um, Miss Lakeisha is on with us right now. Um, she is not only a mom, and a wife, but she's also running three businesses right now. And I'm sure she is capable of running many more. Um, she's able to multitask. Um, she's beautiful. She's inspirational. She's successful. Um, she's holding it down. And um, I am so honored to call her my best friend, um, my partner in crime, and so much more. Um, so hello, Miss Keisha. Thank you for being on the Speak Up and Inspire series. How are you? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I am wonderful. How are you? I'm doing okay. I wanted to take this moment to um, 
to personally thank you for um, going with me today to my appointment uh, today at one um, to the neurologist to get my results of the test that I have been anxiously awaiting for the last couple of weeks. Um, I just want you to know that I love you and I appreciate you. Um, and it really meant a lot to have you there with my mom to support me. Um, You're gonna make me cry. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Um, even though uh, I was told that I do not have MS, um, and that's a good thing, we still don't have any answers, but um, mm -hmm. I am very appreciative to know that, um, that I have you in my corner um, and that um, I can lean on you when I need to. Um, oh, as so I wanted to first thank you for going with me today. You did not have to take off work to come and meet me. Um, so I appreciate you coming with me and um, being my support as you always are. So Absolutely. thank you. You're welcome. So <laughs> let's get that moment out of the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, Ms. Keisha, how many kids do you have? And tell us about them. Okay, so um, between my husband and I, we have five children. Um, oldest is 21, teen, and then 12, and then eight, and two. Um, all have their own personalities. Um, Jackson, he is our youngest. He is like the light of everybody's life, <laughs> as you know. Um, but they they keep us busy, really. They they really do keep us busy. But it's all our blessing. Right, right. Do you want to have any more? Uh no, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no, the baby factory is closed. <laughs> Well, you do a great job at being a mom. Um, you juggle the, your children um, responsibilities very, very well as a mom. So mm -hmm. I applaud you for that because you have a lot going on in your life. Um, and being a mom is just something that you are you are very awesome at. Um, so you have, you said five. You're the youngest is two. What, how old is, what is your oldest? How old are they? She's uh, uh, 21 is our oldest, um, 14, 12, 8, and then two. Got it. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I know that um, you are a bonus mom because you and your mm -hmm. husband have one um, and you have little Miss Lisi. So you're a bonus mom. Um, how hard yeah. was that becoming a yeah. bonus mom? To it was hard at first, um, specifically because they live in a different state. Um, right. and just trying to keep the lines of communication open with mm -hmm. not just them, but their moms. Um, right. It was a struggle at first, but we eventually got there. Um, mm -hmm. but it, it's always a work in progress. So it's something we're continually working on. Um, I, I am big on family. So is my husband. So we do whatever it is we have to do. You know, we're here in Charlotte, but my family is in Maryland. His family is in Pittsburgh. So we're always juggling. We're always on the road, um, but we make it work. Right, right. Um, mm -hmm. I know that um, the kids will be here for the summer. So yeah. the summer is almost here. What are your plans for the kids to keep them busy this summer? Uh, so I just realized that the last day of school is literally in like two weeks, two and a half weeks. And <laughs> it's coming I'm not ready. We're, we're still looking for camps for all of them, because, especially because they're different ages. Um, right. It's hard to get them all to go to one place at the same time. So I may have to juggle going from one camp that will take one, another camp that'll take um, two, and then the babysitter for Jack's. Oh man, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's gonna well, be a lot, but we'll make it work. Yeah, that is a lot. Um, if there's anyone that's listening in the Charlotte area that knows um, a camp that might take all or majority, 
then yeah. she <laughs> sent um, Ms. Keisha and myself a message um, so that we can post it and share it because camps are really, really expensive. Um, I am thankful that the twins go with their uh, dad during the summer. Um, and I believe that this summer he does not have them going to camp because they're old enough, you know, to be home. Um, but we have both uh, worked together to make sure that they are um, busy during the summer. Um, and even when they're on you know, spring breaks and winter breaks and so forth. Um, so, yeah, I definitely understand that challenge. So if anyone is listening right now and you know of any camps in the area, um, please let us know, um, because that's something that's good information that I can share with with my network and Ms. Keisha has a really big network herself and we will definitely share the information if you know of anyone who has some camps that accommodate most ages um, mm -hmm. that would be helpful um, yes. so Ms. Keisha how many businesses are you running right now <laughs> right now three um, we have the most recent is the travel business diamond status traveling um, then we have our catering, which is Casey's Kitchen Catering, and then my baking, which is Keisha's Cakes. So we've kind of intertwined all three at some point, but so it's a total of three. Right, right. Now, um, only because I'm a little biased right now, because you are amazing at your desserts, <laughs> I'm going to start there. <laughs> Tell us about... Keisha's Cakes, please tell us about Keisha's Cakes because I delivered that white chocolate uh, cake to my coworker mm -hmm. on Monday. And when I tell you, she, now she, mind you, she's very petite, but mm -hmm. you would have thought she was a fat cat in the, in the candy store. <laughs> she was so happy to get that cake and it did not make it home without her sharing it with everybody at, at work. So um, tell us about Keisha's Cakes. How did you get started? Um, what kind of desserts do you provide and so forth? So um, I've been baking for some years now. Uh, my mom actually taught me to bake. She has, she does baking in Maryland as well. She's Carlita's Heavenly Cakes. But um, I've been baking for probably about 13 years now. I um, can I specialize anything from cupcakes to pound cakes? I do pies for desserts for holidays, pies just because it's Monday. I've done birthday cakes, wedding cakes, picture images, uh, parfait desserts, cookies, brownies, anything. So, any dessert that you can pretty much think of I can do um, and I really one thing I really enjoy about um, baking is I like to put my own spin on things so mm -hmm. you know for instance one of the most popular is the strawberry lemonade I, I anybody can do a lemon a lemon pound cake you know that's that's very popular but I wanted to take it a little further so I do strawberry lemonade and that's probably mm -hmm. one of the best sellers outside mm -hmm. of the white chocolate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to come over to your house right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's it's a passion. I I love it. You know, at first it turned it was it was just a hobby. I love baking. It it's you know, they say baking soothes a soul, or cooking soothes a soul. Baking truly does that for me. If I'm struggling with something, um, stressed out about anything, I will I'll throw something together real quick. Nice. Now you had a really big order the other day. We had a girls' night plans that yes, interrupted our girls' night. We did. We had a, um, <laughs> this huge order. Tell us about that yes. order. So <laughs> it was um, we well we have, they are actually our catering contacts. Um, we did a catering for them a few weeks ago for an employee appreciation, and because last week was Small Business Week. Um, I offered a special on certain pound cake flavors, and they ended up ordering 30 pound cakes the day before they needed them. So oh. I'm always up for a challenge. <laughs> so unfortunately, I had to cancel girls' night, but um, I'll definitely reschedule that. I'm going to put that on my calendar to reschedule. But um, they were happy. You know, I, I think that day I did... Um, they had to I did 15 flavors. So basically every flavor on that flyer, I did twice. Wow. So it was 
It was really good. I mean, the, the like I said, I love a challenge, and especially if it's supporting the community. This is another small business. I'm a small business, so why not? Right, right. Um, I'm assuming that they got absolutely no work done once the cakes got delivered. That day, always. The same with when they got the catering food. It it took over. When we, when we <laughs> deliver our products, it takes over. It speaks for itself. So they were it pleased. Does. It does. Yeah, we, um, I had ordered the strawberry shortcake Shortcake. and the white chocolate, Mm -hmm. my meeting. And um, yeah, everybody was not paying attention because they were ready because I had the cake (laughs) in the middle of the conference table and everybody Mm -hmm. was kept looking at the boxes like when am I, when am I going to open the box just in this moment? Yeah. So give us a list of some of them cakes. You, I know you don't have, you might not be able to do all of them, but let's let's hear the list. What's the list of fun? So you have um, white chocolate, caramel, um, cookies and cream, strawberry shortcake. Um, I've done cheer wine, of course, lemon, key lime, double chocolate, orange cream, strawberries and cream. Um, I've done a chocolate caramel, double chocolate. Most recently, someone ordered last week brown sugar. And when you think of the brown sugar pound cake, think of a snickerdoodle with like a lot oh of ice. My God. Oh, it was, it was, oh, it was, that was a fun cake to make. Um, chocolate chip. <laughs> So it, it's um, cake. I've been carrot, red velvet. The list goes on and on. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this information right now because we have some people like Fred, of course, your hubby's on the line. Let's go ahead and uh, give information for Keisha's cake so that people can contact you because you um you yeah. always run promotions, um you don't mm-hmm. always have sales, so forth and so on, and your stuff is to die for it. And I'm not just saying because you're my best friend, but because <laughs> whenever I need something sweet, I know where to come mm-hmm. to. So let, yes. tell, tell us how we can get in contact with Keisha's Cakes. So Keisha's Cakes, I do have a Facebook page, which I post to almost daily. And it's Keisha's K-I-S-H-A-S and then Cakes with a K. So K-A-K-E-S. Um, You just search that on Facebook. I'm the only one on there with Keisha's Cakes. um, And I will come right up, but I'll also type the link here in the feed um, so that anyone can um, click on it and access it from there. But it's Keisha's Cakes. And you can also reach me at um, email, Keisha'sCakes at gmail.com. And then, um, but all my other contact information is on my page. Um, Did y'all hear that? One more time. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Keisha's K I S H A S and then Cakes with a K. So K A K E S um, at gmail.com. And then Facebook is Keisha's Cakes. Um, awesome. Again with the K. Awesome. But I'll type it here. And oh, so you did miss the strawberry shortcake I made for hubby's birthday. Um, oh. So you'll have to come over and grab a slice of that. Oh. If he's sharing, oh I don't know if he's sharing. <laughs> uh, no, he's going to share. He is going to share because I see him on there now or on there now bragging. Oh uh, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, did everybody get that? Keisha's cakes with the K. Keisha's cakes with the K. Please go to it right now. Um, like it so that you can see any promos or any sales that she's doing. She she posts on there um, daily. I'm telling you, it is cake dessert porn. You are going to fall in love and you're going to be a good kid. <laughs> yes. So now tell me about Diamond Status. Tell us about that. All right. So Diamond Status Traveling is um, my husband and I's, it's, it's our new venture. We are always on the go. Um, and whether it's somewhere that's an hour away or somewhere we have to take a flight and it's a four hour flight or a two hour flight, um, we love to travel. So I think the idea came about probably um, two years ago after I had Jackson, I wanted to do something where I could stay home. Um, mm-hmm. And if I could stay home, I said, okay, let me figure out a way to make some money and travel came to mind. People always have to go somewhere, whether it's personal, whether it's business, someone's always going to need a hotel, 
there's always a family reunion. There's always honeymoons, which you and I just talked about. Um, so I joined a company. It's a worldwide company located in uh, Florida. Uh, called IntelliTravel, very popular company, um, and they, they're they great. So what they do is they are my host company, um, but my business is Diamond Status Traveling. We specialize in cruises, all-inclusive vacations, a simple rental car, a hotel for date night, anything. Um, we also do excursions and um, transportation, like to and from a hotel. We do rental, uh, not rental cars, but uh, town cars, luxury cars, things like that. So we are for. Awesome. Okay. So Diamond Status Travel. Um, mm -hmm. When you book travel, do you, I know that when I book travel, I research several different places before I book my travel, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you're doing your research, do you always see a savings when you go with your portal? So when it comes to where do you see the biggest savings when it comes to travel so that people know what is mm -hmm. where, where why should they come to you how, how are you going to save their money i would always say for me i book a client's travel like i would book my own so i'm always checking reviews i'm always comparing prices there are so many different suppliers if you were going to book on your own you can go through book it expedia hotwire um you know vacations.com all of them, are, they all use the same system, but they're going to offer something slightly different just to get the sale. For me, it's not just about the sale. I think about memories. I love memories. My husband loves memories. Um, and so even if it's not, you, you're going to always find someone has a better deal, but you also have to read the fine print. Are you mm -hmm. really going to enjoy yourself? Are there blackout dates? Um, do you have to pay when you get there? Are there extra fees that you don't know about? So I do all that research and any client I've ever booked for, I give them that information up front. I don't like surprises myself. I don't like to go out of the country and then get there and they say, oh, you have to pay an extra hundred dollars. And I'm like, okay, for what? You know, mm -hmm. so travel is unpredictable, but I book it as if every client that I book for, I book as if it's my vacation. Um, and I always search for the best price. Right. Um, I know that you have booked um, several hotels for me um, and mm -hmm. have found really, really good prices. Um, mm -hmm. I know that with flights, you don't get too much savings and that's across travel, the travel yeah. world. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you do make sure that you do tracking and you find mm -hmm. the best possible um, flights for people. Um, when it comes to um, that extra service, I've been on your page, so I kind of stalk you since I love you. So <laughs> I've, seen some, I've seen some reviews mm -hmm. about that extra touch that you do for people on their vacations. Yeah. So yes. what are some of the things that you've done for your clients that you're not going to find through Expedia and Travelocity and all that kind of stuff? Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I just recently, um, just last week, I had a good friend who I actually went to high school with her and her now husband took a trip to California um, and uh, they booked an entire package. And so, again, we do payment plans, but it included... Um, the flights, trans, uh, a rental car, and the hotel. Now, what they did know is when they got to the hotel, I had already called ahead. Um, they just got married. Um, so it, I don't think that this was the official honeymoon, but I decided to treat it like that. And I had champagne and glasses delivered to their room. So I don't, I don't make it, it's not an issue for me to do that. I just want that's my token to say thank you for choosing me because you could have booked it on your own. You could have went through somebody else, but I'm always going to leave that one little thing. You know, something as small as, you know, um, I had a group that went to Cuba on a cruise last year and it was uh, eight women. They went to Cuba, Royal Caribbean. And I just simply had a small basket of chocolate covered strawberries delivered to each of their cabins that just said, thank you. So it's just little things I want them to remember that, you know, I booked this cruise and she didn't have to do that, but she did. 
So just right. some, it's always just a token and just say thank you. Right. Um, I have someone on right now who wants your information. So um, how can they get in contact with you with Diamond Status? Okay. Hi, Javon. Um, so we are also on Facebook. Um, it's our travel page is Diamond Status Traveling, spelled the traditional way. Um, I will also include a link here and I'll, I'll send you a link to your inbox. Um, but if you click on that link, my email, which is Diamond Status Traveling all together at gmail.com. My cell phone number is there. I respond to inboxes, text messages, emails immediately. Um, and then um, I can get a quote to you within an hour of you contacting me. So very reachable. I'm always available, but again, it's Diamond Status Traveling that will take you right to our Facebook page where you can find my mobile number and email, or you can inbox me right there on the page and I'll respond to you immediately. Okay, so anyone that's going to look for Diamond Status Traveling, I did do a search earlier and I saw, I believe, two other Diamond Statuses. So okay. what is in your profile picture so that they know that it is you that they're looking for? Our profile picture is me. <laughs> it is, um, it's a picture of myself and my husband. We are actually in Jamaica on our honeymoon um, at a beautiful resort in Montego Bay. Um, and then additionally, um, when you immediately go to the page, our cover page is one of our first group cruises. It explains um, information about a cruise we are actually going on in August that I'm actually still booking for. So if anybody's interested, um, we do still have cabins available. You can reach out to me and I will give you all the details. Um, but yeah, check out the page. I mean, I'm always posting specials and I'm not just singular to just one cruise line. I have specials for all cruise lines, um, mm -hmm. all vacations. So mm -hmm. I, I'll be able to get some good stuff for you, but it's Diamond Status Traveling. I am in the profile picture, um, but again, I'll post the link here um, so that you can just click on it. It'll take you right there. Um, Javon, the cruise in August, it leaves out August 25th for five days. It's going to Half Moon Cay, Bahamas, um, Grand Turk, and um, Dominican Republic. It's going out of Fort Lauderdale. So if you are interested, let me know immediately. I can get you set up. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Carnival is actually offering a special right now, but we can talk more about that um, mm -hmm. if you're interested. So just let me know. Yep, that's the next thing I want to tell you. I mean, I want you to tell us. So you booked me a cruise last night. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, you and hubby are going, and um, we are going to put it out in the universe here in the next couple of days for people to jump on the cruise to go with us. Um, so tell us about that cruise. Yes, so that cruise is on March 5th, 2020. So it's next year. It is going out of Miami, um, and if I'm not mistaken, the ports are Key West, Florida for a day mm -hmm. and Cozumel. So that's mm -hmm. one place I have not been yet. So I'm excited. Um, the prices are very, very reasonable. In addition to that, if you book this today, you only have to pay $50 per person. And you have until January the 5th, 2020 to pay the balance. So there is no payment schedule. You pay as often or as little as you like. You can wait till January 5th, 2020 at 11 a.m. and pay your balance. Um, that's just how convenient it is. A lot of people don't understand when you book cruises, it's not necessarily a lot of money up front. You just have to secure your space with a deposit. And then mm -hmm. we can work out the details with the payments later. Um, one thing that I would say mm -hmm. sets me aside from other travel companies is I am very communicative. I like to make sure you have your, your information. So I'll send you a confirmation. I will send you an invoice that is personally created by myself. And also reminders. So I reach out to every client I've ever booked on the first of each month just as a reminder, giving them any, um, I'll let them know if anything has changed. And one good thing I do is I price match. Sometimes if you book a vacation that includes um, airfare, hotel, prices change. If the price happens to go down, we will update your invoice to get you that reduced rate. Not all travel agencies will do that. Right. Right. Yeah. So right now you can get in on the March cruise that is going to mm -hmm. Key West, 
and calls them off for how much? How much is the deposit for March? So the deposit is fifty dollars per person. Anybody who's going in the cabin um, would pay a fifty dollar per person fee. The remaining balance is due by January the fifth, um, twenty twenty. That would have to be. I believe this was just a two or three day sale with Carnival. Um, so mm -hmm. if you're wanting to get in on that cruise, you'd want to reach out to me today. Um, if you want to text me, my number. I don't care. It's it's area code nine eight zero. 829-7284. You can reach out to me that way. That way we can get on this immediately. Um, mm -hmm. In addition to that, um, if you're unable to make your deposit payment today, we can still book the um, carnival vacation. You have three additional days to make your payment. So we can still get you on that cruise and you just make your payment a couple of days from now. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So tell us again, how can we reach you for Diamond Status Traveling? before we move on to your third business. <laughs> right, yeah. so Diamond Status Traveling, all three separate words, you can search it right on Facebook. I am in the profile picture, and also if you click on the page, you will see um, the cover page is a carnival cruise. Um, it's an exotic um, Eastern carnival cruise is the flyer, is the cover picture, but um, I'll also place the link here in this feed once we've concluded, and that'll take you right to the page. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Now, you um, are not only a bonus mom and new wife, but you mm -hmm. also became co-owner to your hey, business. <laughs> catering. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so tell us about mm -hmm. Casey's Catering. How long has it been in existence? What kind of food? Mm -hmm. Tell us all Yes, so Casey's Kitchen Catering um, is a catering business that my husband actually is the owner of. Um, he started this, I want to say it's about, it could be about 12 years now. He's been cooking for forever. Um, mm -hmm. He originated in Pittsburgh. He went to Le Cordon Bleu where he did his studying um, for culinary. And he is just amazing when it comes mm -hmm. to yeah creating these meals now i'm not a cook i can cook i'm not a cook um but he can turn any meal into something extraordinary it's his craft um we don't specifically specialize in any particular meal um but i will give you a list of just some of the favorites um uh, most popular of course everybody loves fried chicken but his fried chicken is different it's it's mm -hmm crispy it's juicy it's it's seasoned perfectly every single time um most recently uh, uh jamaican uh jerk meatballs we also have just started doing lunches during the week so um one thing we are doing now and we do pretty much every sunday is we release a menu we post it on all of our social media pages, on our personal pages, and we can also send it out via email. Um, you can place a, a prepaid order for lunch to be delivered, whether you're at work, whether you're at home, um, and we will, um, you would just tell us which day you want, Monday through Friday, you would pay uh, either through Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, um, or uh, PayPal, and we would deliver. So that, that's our new venture right now is weekly lunches. Okay, what's on the menu this week? So this week we have, um, so every day during the week is build your own salad. Build your own salad can include toppings of um, chicken, grilled or fried, shrimp, mm -hmm. grilled or fried, and salmon. Um, that's every day, Monday through Friday. Okay. Um, tomorrow is steak and cheese egg rolls, which is my favorite, um, oh. with a side <laughs> of french fries. I know, right? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Wednesday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wednesday is seafood mac, which is to die for because Casey's mac and cheese is amazing. Um, mm. Thursday is um, wrap, so you can do either a buffalo chicken wrap or a chicken bacon ranch wrap with a side of french fries. Mm. And Friday is our soul food day, so we do fried chicken or fried fish with a side of fries. Mm. And in dessert, we have white chocolate <laughs> pound cake. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes. <laughs> I got some good stuff going this week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you cater. So do you do, what kind of events do you cater? Is it all events? Is it just weddings? 
What kind of oh, events do you do? Of events. Um, we do weddings, anniversaries, birthday parties. We do meal prep. If you just hungry and you want a plate, we do that. We do anything. <laughs> we've done vendor events. Um, we travel with our catering. So we've done events in Maryland. We've done grilled events because we have a um, we have a trailer hitch with a grill. So we do outdoor catering as well. Um, any type of event we we can do. Awesome. Um, are you guys tailgating again this year? We are. We were actually just talking about that earlier. So our first big tailgate was last year was because we are huge cowboy fans. We... Uh, <laughs> I didn't ask you that part. Yeah, so we tailgated um, the Panthers oh. and the Cowboys game, which was a wonderful turnout. We were on the corner of Brevard and 4th Street. We had mm -hmm. our grill. We had tents. You were there. I, you were there. You were with the blue lipstick. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> we had um, DJs. We had TV. So yes, we do. Um, we will be doing catering this year for tailgates. We are also going to offer something new, which will be tailgate packages. So it won't personally be our tailgate. So if you're having a tailgate, we will come and cook for you. So you can enjoy and we do all the work. How are you going to be at your tailgate and then somebody else's tailgate? <laughs> no. I'm, so we're only going to tailgate a few of the games. I'm thinking the first okay. game of the season and then okay. maybe a couple of other games throughout. But people tailgate all the time. So if yeah. you are okay. just wanting to go out and enjoy, we'll do the cooking for you. Gotcha. So basically catering the tailgate. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So if someone needs a caterer or lunch mm -hmm. during the week because I am really bad about taking my lunch, so. I know, me too. Yeah, <laughs> and I know a lot of people are not, you know, take the lunch people. So how can they get in contact with you um, about anything, catering? Um, how can yeah. they get in contact with you? You so and Casey. You can, um, we are also, again, on Facebook, which is Casey's Kitchen Catering, and Casey is K-A-Y-C-E-E. -E. Um, next word, kitchen, and then catering. Um, and actually, I just updated the profile picture today. So the profile picture is a picture of us. Um, you can't miss this face. Um, <laughs> and then um, you can also reach out to our telephone number, which is area code 704-247-7167. In addition to that, I will place the link here um, because we are taking orders for lunch. Um, again, it's pre-order, pre-payment. Um, so you'd want to reach out to us as as early as you can to make sure you get your lunch at the time that you need it. Okay. I'm putting my order in for seafood mac and cheese and yes. soul food Fridays. So look out for that. I need that. I need all that. Huh? Did you just ask me if I want to Even yeah. if y'all were serving cake, I would be yeah. asking for some cake. Reach <laughs> out yeah. to us as early as you can. Um, hopefully, you know, we would prefer the day before, but if you can get us early on the day that you want, we can also, we can accommodate. So um, again, it's Casey's Kitchen Catering, K-A-Y-C-E-E, -E, Kitchen and then Catering. And then um, you can also give a call to area code 704-247-7167. Okay. Where do you deliver to? Is there like a mile range? So yes, for the lunches, there is, well, there's not a, there's not a select area, but if you're outside of a five mile radius from university, um, mm -hmm. there's a little, so the, within the five miles, there's a $2 delivery fee. Outside of that five miles, it's a $4 delivery fee. So we've okay. gone to South Carolina, we've gone to Ballantyne, we've gone to Huntersville. As long as you give us that notice and we can get you on the schedule for that day, we'll make it work. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yes, because I know Cedric is out by Carowinds and y'all were able to deliver That's lunch to him. So, yes. amazing. Okay. Yes. All right, so um, tell us all three businesses again from the mm -hmm. top. Yes, yeah, so we have Keisha's Cakes, any mm -hmm. kind of I can make and it's Keisha's Cakes and it's K-I-S-H-A-S-K-A-K-E-S -S -E -S. Um, uh, Diamond Status Traveling if you're wanting to book that vacation you've been wanting or hop on this cruise for next year because we're going to do some good stuff with that cruise um, reach out to 
me ASAP at uh, Diamond Status Traveling, or you can always feel free to text me, area code 980-829-7284. Um, I respond back immediately. And then we have um, Casey's Kitchen Catering. You can reach out to myself or Casey, and it's K-A-Y-C-E-E. -E kitchen catering and uh, telephone number is area code 704-247-7167. Um, In addition to that, I don't want to completely call it a business, but I'm also a public notary. A mobile. If you okay. are selling a car, if you are a cash on your 401k and you need a notary at 10 o'clock, call me and I will make it happen. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Goodness. Yes. Yes. Now they call me, they call me a little light bright Jamaican. Um you have to uh add you to the Jamaican family. Hi, Harley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So Miss Keisha, yes. you are a mom of five. Mm -hmm. You are a bonus mom. Yes. You have four businesses. <laughs> Four businesses. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been married? We actually, our anniversary is next week. Hi, Devin. Mm -hmm. um, we will be married three years on June the 4th. So Aww. Who married <laughs> you? Who married me? Who would marry me? <laughs> you married me. <laughs> My ambition. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Yes. <laughs> Um, I have to tell you that that is one of the many blessings of being a officiant and marrying my friends mm -hmm. and seeing their anniversaries come up and knowing that I was a part of it. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. that rose ceremony was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I couldn't yes. have had it any other way. Yes, you had a great ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, you're going on three years. Mm -hmm. um, now, something about you and Casey that I love that I see you... Um, incorporating your businesses when mm -hmm. you guys are being romantic. You are yes. a very romantic couple. Mm -hmm. um, tell me, how do you keep the romance alive in your marriage with four businesses, five kids, new yes. marriage, traveling? Mm -hmm. How do you keep the romance in your marriage with all of that going on? Yes. So before I respond, Michelle, um, yes, I will post all three links here for you to see as soon as we've concluded. Um, so the good thing about these type of businesses is you they can be very romantic. So um, for birthdays, anniversaries, we're always planning something. So um, last year, I surprised him for his birthday to, with a trip to Vegas. The year before mm -hmm. that, I surprised him with a trip um, for a cruise, which he had no idea about. Um, and then this year, he actually surprised me for our anniversary. We were going to Puerto Rico, which I, I just mm -hmm. found out a couple weeks ago. Um, so that's the plus side to working and travel. You know, um, it's not necessarily all about the discounts, but it is. Um, but you mm -hmm. get these exclusive invitations to come and visit. Um, mm -hmm. He works in a hotel business, so that's a that's a, a good plus. Um, so we use that, and of course, I'll bake for him at the drop of a dime. Um, mm -hmm. And then he knows the way to my heart is to cook for me. He knows I have so many <laughs> great dishes. I can my mouth is watering just thinking about the food. But um, I don't know. You just you got we keep it fun. You know, one thing about us is we will go anywhere and. We date. We date often, sometimes two, three times a week. You know, we, we have to, I think you have to do those things to just get out of routine. You know, I think sometimes we get into routine, we get comfortable, and then you lose sight of certain things, especially when it comes to a marriage and even a friendship. Um, but yeah, we utilize all of our businesses to keep things interesting in our marriage. Um, mm -hmm. So just like this month, every weekend, we've traveled kind of bringing in our anniversary. And then like the last big travel will be Puerto Rico to celebrate our three years. Awesome. Awesome. You just surprised him with a trip where? Um, so the last trip. Uh, we went to where I surprised him. Well, for his birthday, we did New Orleans. 
That yes. was <laughs> amazing. <laughs> uh, it was both of our first time there. One thing we like to do is we like to be each other. We like to do things that are each other's first. Um, mm -hmm. Neither one of us has gone to Puerto Rico, so we're both looking forward to it. But he, one thing he likes to do is he likes to plan little things. So I don't know what he has in store, but I'm looking forward to it. Right, right. So um, you guys uh, regularly date. Um, yep. You are always going out for date night. Mm -hmm. um, making time to date is can be hard for couples. Um, I know that it's hard for me and Cedric to date because then we have to worry about getting babysitters, um, having someone reliable to support us mm -hmm. when it comes to kids and wanting to actually go out with each other. Um, so we, we try to make time to date. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's really important for keeping your relationship, you know, romantic and just staying connected to each other um when you're not traveling i know that there's something that you guys do at least once a month mm -hmm. um and actually cedric has said that he wants to start doing that as well tell us what that is that you guys do once a month that i think is awesome so once a month we have our date overnight and what we will do is we will book a hotel in the fanciest hotel in uptown um mm -hmm. we'll get the kids settled in bed we have a sitter or his brother will you know sit with the kids at night we'll go and check into a hotel we'll park our cars um and we'll find a restaurant close by we'll go for a little walk whether it's going to a bar and then we will spend the night with each other in this hotel and then get up and go to work like it's a normal day um mm -hmm. so we've done it during the week you know on the weekends but we just kind of have decided that once a month that'll be our date overnight you know you don't have to go far you don't have to travel you know a long distance to just have a date night we do it right here we're usually 10 15 minutes from the house so mm -hmm. that's our thing and we've done we've kept up that for three it'll be three years we've done that once a month had our date right. overnight so it it's important to incorporate things like that and even if you can't do a date overnight do lunch. We have, we've had lunch every day position, mm -hmm. but that's a date. It doesn't have to be at night. It doesn't have to be extravagant. Just have lunch and have great conversation. So that's what we right. do. Right. Yeah. Um, I love it. That's, I think that's one of the things that I admire about your relationship. You know, every, every marriage has its ups and downs and mm -hmm. you know, go through things. But I think when you commit that time to each other, mm -hmm. um, then even if you're going through something bad or you're, you're having a bad day or, mm -hmm. you know, tired or something like that, and you make that extra time to go out with each other, mm -hmm. um, I don't see how your relationship um, can't stay active and can't stay romantic and can't and can't you can't stay connected with each other when you're making the time you're making the effort and you're you're planning these date nights. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So the big question: How do you do it all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. What keeps you motivated? I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, honestly, I, I get asked that question a lot. And someone actually asked me that today because, you know, this weekend I was in, well, Friday was his birthday. So we went out mm -hmm. to dinner and, you know, we had a late night and we did the hotel thing with the flowers and the roses and things like that. And then I had to get on the road the next day um, to Maryland. Uh, I had to go to a prom, which was absolutely amazing. And then I got back here last night, probably right before 10 o'clock. Um, oh, but I didn't go to bed. Huh? <laughs> yeah, booking your cruise. <laughs> exactly. I got back and he <laughs> sat right here at the table with me while I booked. That was our time, you know. Uh, business is business. We we always make time for business. Um, but we still kind of get our time in there. So we were spending time together while I was and then we just spent some time watching Game of Thrones and you know we, we had some conversation had a late dinner so it's just I don't know I think my biggest motivation is just my family I've always been on the go I've always been the type I don't need a lot of sleep 
you know, but I know that there are things that I want to do. So that's what motivates me. I know what I'm, what I have a plan. And I know that if I can get this in line, this in line, this in line, and then he's right there by my side to help me, then I know mm. I can do anything. Um, I do have my days where I'm just exhausted and people will tell me, he should, you look exhausted. And yeah. he gives me that time. You know, he, whether it's, I just got the membership to Massage Envy. He got that for me a couple of months ago. Um, and so I go and do that. You know, I might have a nail or spa day, at dinner with you. You know, he gives me that time so that I can unwind and reflect, get my. I don't, there's not one thing that, that motivates me. Everybody, you motivate me. Everybody, everybody who's close to me motivates me because I like where I'm going. Right. Right. Well, you are definitely going great places. You are you have already achieved so much. How old are you? I am 35. You are 35. Running <laughs> four businesses, <laughs> maintaining a husband, a new husband, mm -hmm. maintaining five kids, mm -hmm. and you have a pretty, now, a pretty high profile uh, nine to five. So you yes. are juggling a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I want to take a moment while I see somebody is watching. Um, Miss Allie, I did a shout out to you earlier when I started the podcast to thank you for interviewing me on Saturday and providing a platform for women like me um, and individuals like me, not just women, but men as well, um, that are doing good things in the community, that are giving back to their community. So I want to do a shout out while she is watching to tell you thank you. Thank you again for giving me the platform, um, not once, but twice. Um, always being supportive of my, my efforts and everything that I'm doing in the community. Um, but also you're just amazing yourself um, having this platform and looking for people that are um, doing good things in the community so I want to thank you for listening in to me that is um, an honor in itself that you're listening to me doing my podcast so thank you so much mm -hmm. thank you Allie um, Ms. Keisha you are amazing and it's not <laughs> just because you make bomb cakes. <laughs> it's not because you're a hopeless romantic like I am. Um, mm -hmm. It's not because you're an amazing mom. It's not just because you're an amazing wife. But you are just truly, um, I don't know. It's, you're, you're so special to me. Um, and I don't think I can say that enough. Um, so I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule because I know that you had something else that you could have been doing right now. I know. I, well, I have my laptop right here ready when this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're doing something because I know you. So I can see your eyes I going am. back and forth. So I know you're doing something. I, I wanted to thank you. Um, I just took a white chocolate cake out of the oven and then I have some quotes to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ooh, yeah. That white chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have some things for those that are watching and for those that have not watched yet. Um, we are going to be sharing um, the August and March cruises coming up that Miss Keisha has already um, put into effect and planning um, that mm -hmm. you can get on for a low deposit. Um, you just have mm -hmm. to have it paid off by a certain time. We're going to put that information out there. We're going to share all of her links all this week for Keisha's Cakes, for Diamond Status Traveling, for Casey's Kitchen, and her notary. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. All of this information this week. Um, make sure that you like all of her pages. I promise you that you will um, be hitting her up for cakes because she mm -hmm. posts pictures that you're not going to be yes. able to resist because they mm -hmm. look delicious. And some yes. of them, I swear, are right in front of you. The the way they look, <laughs> and they just ooze with <laughs> ooey goodness. <laughs> yes. 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 So, um, white chocolate cake. She has said that like ten times. I think she's teasing me. Mm -hmm. I think she's teasing. Me. So make sure that you look at um, Keisha's cake page so that you can see everything that she does. Um, Instagram. Someone's asking about Instagram. Yes. Do you have Instagram? Yes. 
I do. So okay. we have Instagram. Um, it's the same as Facebook. Keisha's Cakes, Casey's Kitchen Catering, and Diamond Status Travel. Um, I'll make sure to put those links here as well. I know a lot of people aren't on Facebook as much um, and would prefer to do Instagram. I, I do share. I post to all three pages almost daily. So yes, I will share that information as well. And one thing I did say I was going to do, um, because I know that your listeners and fans are just amazing. So anybody who reaches out to me this week and wants to purchase a, a whole pound cake, if you mention to me this podcast, you will get $5 off. So any flavor. Any flavor, um, reach out to me, mention the podcast, and I will apply a $5 discount. Um, And the only thing I ask is that you share, write reviews. If you didn't like something, tell me. If you loved it, tell me. I welcome, you know, any and all opinions, recommendations, criticism. I take it all. So just be upfront and honest. I mean, I feel like if you're going to pay for something, you need to enjoy it. And if it's something I can do to make it better, I need to know. So just mention the podcast and I will apply a $5 discount. And just, and it'll be on any flavor pound cake you would like. Just hit me up. Woo woo! I yeah, can yeah. see you dancing already. <laughs> yeah. Doing this. Yep, 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 yep. Five dollars off. Any pound cake. Yeah. Yes. Get mm-hmm. that with me. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So, Miss Keisha, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Thank you for telling us about your your businesses. Um, Thank you for sharing your knowledge on juggling and being a mompreneur, um, Mm -hmm. a professional. Um, Also sharing with us some tips on how to keep romance in your in your marriage. Um, Mm -hmm. You're going into three years for three years, you have consistently made time for date night. You have consistently had overnight date nights, which I don't see how you've done that for three years. We can't even get done in a month. Um, but I love it. I love it. I love the romance that I see between the two of you um, and the fact that that is still going strong. Um, three years might not seem like a long time, but three years every day with the same person. Um mm-hmm. It is. It, it it takes time. It takes a lot of yeah. effort to still be romantic and for you to still be doing date nights and making it consistently two, three times a week, once mm-hmm. a month overnight, traveling together. Um, that says a lot about your marriage. It says a lot mm-hmm. about you as a wife and as a mom. Um, and so I'm really glad that you took the time to talk to us on the Speak Up and Inspire series. Absolutely. So everybody... Stay tuned where she's going to be posting links. Um, once mm-hmm. we have concluded the interview, I'll be sharing those links all week. Um, mm-hmm. I will finalize and put it on YouTube so that you can watch it later. So mm-hmm. thank you and have a good night, Miss Keisha, and have a good night mm-hmm. to everyone. Who's- wow. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Love you too. All right. Bye. Bye.